Hey everybody, this video once again brings us back out to Walt Disney World. And why are we back at Walt Disney World? Because once again, of course, we did not know what to do with our, our day. We've got uh, the kids with us today and we had no idea what it was we were going to do. We, we thought maybe we could go play some golf. Apparently they're all booked up and I, I don't know. We, we really did not, did not know what to do. So um, as per usual with us having no idea what to do with our day, we said, hey, any any dining reservations available? And yeah, sure enough, there was there were there was. I haven't eaten yet today. <laughs> I'm excited for this dining reservation. Sure enough, there was a reservation at um, Steakhouse 71 here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. So we figured why not uh, book a reservation, have some lunch, a late lunch here at the Contemporary. And then afterwards, probably walk over to uh, Magic Kingdom, spend a couple of hours or are so there. We're not going to hang out too long at the Magic Kingdom. They're open till 11. We're not staying till 11. Maybe like, maybe like five or, or so, or I don't know. We're not going to be around here too long, but again, did not know what to do today. So figured why not get some lunch, head over to the Magic Kingdom, not knowing what to do when you live 25 minutes away from Walt Disney World can get kind of expensive. Oh yeah, by the way, rocking the new hat again. All right, so we got our food. I got the steak frites. I got my steak and my my frites to go along with it. Danielle got herself a, what is this? It's the grilled chicken sandwich that has avocado, Ooh, bacon, tomato, some kind of like pesto, something or another. All right. Some pasta salad. Okay, all right. Max got himself got a, a, a burger. Okay. With waffle fries. Nice. Two sides of waffle fries. Ooh. And fries. Some apple chips. Nice. And then Sean got himself some what, chicken fingers mm -hmm. with some apples. And then you got a, a Ultimate, Daddy Ultimate Daddy Sunday coming to you. Whoa. Yes. Awesome. All right. So we all got, um, they got their five-year-old meals. I got my, I got, you know what? Today I went adult. I went with an adult meal today. So proud of you, I know. Babe. I got my, my steak. So proud of you, babe. <laughs> I'm going to get Danielle with her. Or chicken sandwich. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna dive into this because it looks so good. Okay, so we've pretty much all finished eating, but Sean did get a Sunday with his meal, and we've got to make it the ultimate daddy Sunday, which just simply means everything is going on top. He's getting the um, the chocolate chips. He's getting the sprinkles. He's getting the hot fudge. All all on top, all mixed in. We 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 swirl it all together, and it makes the ultimate daddy Sunday. But Daddy gets to have at least a couple of the um, the chocolate chips for himself. Okay, there it is, the ultimate daddy Sunday. Everything mixed in with some hot fudge on top, looking pretty good. Unfortunately, though, now I I kind of want to get some ice cream. You know what? We head to the Magic Kingdom. I might be getting some mint chocolate chip. So we have finished eating, and of course, we had to come up to the gift shop in hopes of them maybe possibly having something you were really hoping. They would indeed have, and sure enough, here they are. They have the new, wow, those are nice looking. They're cute, right? The new Disney, ugh, Disney Eats pineapple ring. I thought they were like more Dole Whippy. I mean, they, they are. There's a Dole in the middle, but. Look much better than I had thought. Yeah, these are nice with the, with the pineapple rings. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it was going to have like big Dole Whip like ears. That was my no, I, assumption. I saw them, but the bow didn't look as oh. good as it These looked. are nice. Yeah. These are cool looking. All right, well. They have them, I'm and up, I yeah, of, of course I I know you're gonna buy them. these. All right, well, dig, thankfully there's only what one, two, three, four, five. There's only six, so we don't have to go through that many to find the the best pair.
Oh, so this is the wreath that everybody's losing their mind over. It looks like the wreaths are outside on Main Street USA. I mean, they're pretty cool. These are um, interesting. Honestly, $75. I really did expect this to be a lot more. I thought they were going to be charging like 100 over $100 for this. It's pretty cool, though, but not, not cool enough. Halloween. No, this it, is like a it like lights up it, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. Very cute. it's cute, but yeah, it really doesn't fit the uh, the it's vibe of our vibes, of our I home. Think. Even though we do have a ton of Mickey pumpkins, it's the like fall uh, foliage that doesn't match my vibe because I have like bloomals outside. It's not fall. Yeah, it's like Halloween. To totally. This is the part where I just smile and nod. Okay, it's now officially a trip to the Magic Kingdom. We got ourselves our um, our Dole Whip. Sean says he wants to take the first the first bite, and de delicious. I mean, it's it's a Dole Whip. How could it not be delicious? I did say I was thinking about getting some mint chocolate chip, but then I remembered, wait, no, mint chocolate chip's amazing, but Dole Whip is so much better, and it's non dairy. So, in like the four thousand degree heat, I won't feel like I'm gonna die. Mm. It's, it's pineapple, it, it's like pineapple soft serve, although it's not, again, it's not ice cream, it's not dairy, but it is so good. So Daniela and Max got a float, which is um, pineapple Dole Whip with pineapple juice at the, the bottom. Have you seen, they have a new like Pog thing? Yeah, but I don't like, it has like coconut ice cream. Oh, like, all right. All right. I mean, I I, well, wait, they, got, they have stuff. coconut it? They have coconut now? I, think so. I, I might want to try some coconut soft serve at some point. That sounds amazing. You enjoying your um, your Dole Whip float? I'm not a big fan. I love me some pineapple. Uh, again, I don't want to call it soft serve, but whatever this is, the, the pineapple Dole Whip. But I'm not a huge fan of the um, the pineapple juice. I know it doesn't make any doesn't make any sense. The what? Oh, that's not a bad idea. So we actually haven't done the new Country Bear Musical Jamboree yet. We've done the old one about a million, thousand, zillion times. We've been on that ride, that attraction, seen the show so many times. But we have not yet seen the new revamp of the Country Bears. I'm excited about this. I've heard good things. I hear it's a lot of um, IPs they sing now, but that's okay. I'm I'm excited to see this. So we're going to go into um, to Country Bear now and see the new, the brand new, revamped Country Bear show. <laughs> So that was cute. I enjoyed that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a bit of a um, traditionalist when it comes to the country bears. I, I miss the very politically incorrect music they used to sing, but I like the new songs. I like the, um, the, the Disney IPs, the, the Disney songs from Disney movies. 
there was a bit of like old school country kind of meets like new country pop. It's been modernized. It's been updated. I I liked it. I'll, I'll go back to see that time and time again. What did you think? I thought it was good. I really liked their like country outfits. Oh, their outfits were fantastic. Yeah, they, they definitely spruced up the outfit. So did you like it? Yeah. I'm gonna come back to see it again. Yes. This will not be the last time we see Country Bears. Now that was good. I was a little worried, but I, I had actually heard good things. I had heard it was, um, Again, it was, it, was, it was modernized. It was a bunch of Disney IPs, but all things considered, I heard it was pretty good, and I would, I would agree. I, I still would prefer the old Country Bears over the new Country Bears, but things change, and I still liked it. I will definitely be back to see that again. Hello. Hey, hi. Hi, Miguel. Bye, Clarabelle. Bye. We may or may not have liked the show so much, we just went and watched it again. <laughs> I mean, it's a walk on. We had to go check it out again. But all right, we're going to go meet up with uh, Daniela Max now. They actually went over to Tomorrowland. We, we came over here to Frontierland to get on Country Bears. They went over to Tomorrowland because their friend was over there working at uh, Buzz Lightyear. So we're going to go over there now and um, meet up with them. I love it here. And I love me some Country Bears. I also very much love Tom Sawyer Island and the Liberty Bell, which are supposedly going to be going away very soon. In the not too distant future, right here where we're standing, will probably, oh, that sound. I love it. Right here where we're standing will most likely be walls and uh, this whole area is going to be flattened. The rivers of America will be going away. This whole area is going to become Again, I love that sound. I'm gonna miss that. This whole area will be coming a Cars Land, and then there's gonna be like a whole like Villains area, supposedly, supposedly like over in that area. So it's gonna be pretty cool when it's done. I'm looking forward to seeing all the new stuff they're doing, but I, I am very much going to miss Tom Sawyer Island and the Liberty Bell. Some people are hoping maybe they keep the Liberty Bell, not necessarily as an attraction that goes around the uh, rivers, rivers of America, since that'll be going away supposedly, but. If they could just keep it as like something you could hang out on or part of the like the villains land or something like that that'd be really cool so maybe they'll they'll keep it as like decor that would be awesome that'd be cool just a little little wink and nod to a, um, a classic disney attraction but yeah i'm gonna have to get over there one last time before they do close it down and of course one more ride on the liberty bell at some point yeah you too yes. should we come back and ride those yes yeah we're gonna have to do that so yes, I have to do Tom Sawyer Island one last time. I've got to do Liberty Bell one last time. I still haven't seen the Hatbox Ghost over at the Haunted Mansion yet. I still haven't been on Tron yet. I have. You have, and I still haven't done Tiana's Bayou Adventure yet. And you have as well. I haven't done any of this stuff. I'm very much behind on things I, I want to get around to doing, but I've got some bad news. Uh, we're walking in poo. Uh, uh. I'm also eventually going to have to do a whole video on the Liberty Bell here. There's a really cool story behind this Liberty Bell that I'll tell you guys about sometime. But I've already done a whole video on the Liberty Tree. You guys can check that video out. Very cool, interesting bit of Walt Disney history right here with this Liberty Tree. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check that out. That was awesome. We just got to meet Peter Pan and Wendy. You got your picture taken with them. Yay. I love when they have the characters just like roaming around as opposed to like a, an area, like, a, like a, a typical meet and greet where there's a huge line. When they're just roaming, they, they make no lines. They just say, just just take start taking pictures. Have your kids come up, just start snapping pictures. That was, that was pretty awesome. I know, I just had a steak lunch only maybe like an hour ago, but I can't walk past pepperoni spring rolls and not get one. Mm. Mm. One of the best Disney treats ever.
All right, so that's gonna do it for our time here at the Magic Kingdom. All in all, pretty good day. Again, didn't really have any idea what we were gonna be doing today. So in true typical us fashion, <laughs> we said, let's go get some food. So anyway, the food over at um, the Steakhouse 71 was delicious. We all enjoyed our meal, then popping over here to Magic Kingdom, just getting some more food and checking out the country fairs. And Sean and I got to do some dancing and we saw Peter Pan and and Wendy, and you got to have fun hanging out with your friends over in Tomorrowland. All in all, a pretty fantastic couple of hours here in Walt Disney World at the Magic Kingdom. I love it here. And I love the fact that we live so close now, we can just do this. Living 25 minutes away from Walt Disney World is amazing, because we can just go, you wanna just pop into the Magic Kingdom for a couple of hours? Sure, why, why not? And then just head home. So. All right, guys, with that, we are done. Even though the clouds are coming in and the breeze is starting to blow and it feels nice right now. It was pretty brutal out. I agree, but I don't want to be in the rain with no one. I mean, I don't want to be in the rain either, but I'm digging this way more than like the 400 degrees we were in not too long ago. But all right, guys, that's going to do it. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron. What was that? I felt like we were walking uh, all over the place. If you, if you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check, also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. We're going to pick up Retro Rest Stop t-shirts and, and pins and buttons and, and all kinds of stuff like that <laughs> again <laughs> i'm getting dizzy now all right so check down below for links to patreon if you guys do become a patron i will send you a postcard every single month from the road also check down below for a link to spreadshirt where you can grab yourself red store rest stop t-shirts also hit that join button and become a member of this channel and gain early access to all of our videos all that stuff helps support the show it keeps the show going so we really do appreciate that and if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end hashtag uh, Day of Magic Kingdom. <laughs> All right, hashtag Day of Magic Kingdom or... Hashtag if you want to see David fall like he did, comment down below. <laughs> or... Monorail! Where'd it go? There, there, wait, there it is. I'm, I'm confusing myself. Hashtag most dizzy, most nauseating ending ever. There we go. If you can spell the word nauseating. That's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button, or you are subscribed, then we will see you in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye, Bye. guys. Actually, on second thought, since I am DVC and all, maybe I won't go home. Maybe I'll just come up to the Top of the World Lounge and check out the amazing view of the Magic Kingdom. Maybe get myself a cheese board, maybe a giant pretzel, a couple of drinks. Yeah, I'm thinking that sounds like a much much better idea.